I'm going to show you something we've done before. We're going to meet with our friends at Circles in the Sand. This group of people that love to draw and play in the sand. It's awesome. But today we're in Florence. Let me go see if Denny has a little bit of time to explain what's going on here today. So Denny, what are you guys doing here today? Why Florence? Oh, hi Charlie. Yeah, this is our fourth annual trip up here. We come up every October uh, just to visit. We have a couple fantastic sponsors up here. Driftwood Shores, the hotel that we're drawing in front of. Uh, Sandmaster Park, uh, one of the leading sand borders in the area. And uh, Moe's Restaurant, of course. We had uh, lunch there the, today. That was fantastic. It was really good. And, yes, and Sea Lion Caves. And so they invited us up, and uh, gosh, who can say no to a, a trip up to Florence? It's actually, we don't have the rocks and everything else, but I got a lot of wide beach and uh, looking forward to a fantastic day. I see that there's two labyrinths today instead of one. Yeah, normally the crowds get pretty busy up here, and then with the COVID factor still in route, it allows us to spread people out a little further. And it's all about sharing the, the intention of love and caring and community. And when you get so many people working together on a project, it is just really fantastic. Well, that's awesome. I won't take any more of your time. Okay. I'll let you go back to play. Uh, go back to play. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Thanks, Lenny. Take care. Uh, this is Beth. She's one of the sand artists here with Circles in the Sand. And I just wanted to ask her a couple of questions because what you guys are doing here is amazing. Uh, how can people support what you guys are doing? Well, we love support. Uh, we love what we do. Uh, it's all volunteer here on the sand, uh, but people can make donations on our website. We also have a marketplace, so we've got some apparel, some jewelry, and our 2022 calendar is ju has just launched. We're so excited about our 2022 calendar. Awesome. I took some of those pictures. Yeah, all of the pictures. <laughs> all of the pictures, yeah. Uh, so for volunteers and groomers and stuff like that, how does how does that happen? How do you sign up for something like this? We have volunteers that help us groom. That we have there's eight people on our team and then we have volunteers that come and help us. And so usually we have people sign up either they get in touch with us through our website, but we usually need about twelve groomers to help us do the grooming and it usually takes about an hour. To groom we do it right an hour right before the walk starts and we appreciate all of our groomers that make us look so good on the sand so we're always looking for new sponsors we have some awesome sponsors in Bandon, but we can always use some more sponsors to support the work that we do um, because we do have behind the scenes fees although the walks are always uh, free to everybody that comes and walks them and we want to continue that process so if people would like to be a sponsor, they can reach out to us again through our website or they can get in touch with me directly because I'm also the administrative director for Circles in the Sand. I'll be putting her contact info here in the description. Awesome, thank you. And cool. Uh, I guess you need to go back and play in the sand, right? I do. I got to get back to work, Charlie. Right. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. differences that I'm sure you can tell uh, from this beach is that there's no sea stacks there's no rocks it's very flat uh, it's a beautiful beach and that's that's one thing that the Oregon coast has that you drive a couple hours and it is completely different the big thing here in, uh, in Florence is the sand dunes 
And at some point I want to come back and play in the dunes. That looks amazing. As you can tell, there's a ton of people that came here today. And as Beth said earlier, uh, they used all my pictures for the calendar uh, this year and last year, which is awesome. I love coming and doing videos and pictures because as you can tell, pretty much everybody's got a smile from ear to ear. Everyone's super happy taking pictures, enjoying themselves. And that's something that, that's something I think we need more of. <laughs> this is one of those things that brings people together. Uh, a lot of these people have nothing in common besides the art. And you, you can see there's hundreds of people enjoying this. It's, it's amazing. Some people are able to donate financially. Uh, I don't have a lot of extra cash. <laughs> so I can donate my time and a, a little bit of my pictures. Something else that's different, it's October and I'm wearing a t-shirt <laughs> in the Oregon coast. This is crazy. It's warm, it's sunny, it's beautiful. Christine how she feels about being here today and how excited she is. She's another one of the sand artists and she does a mermaid and amazing things on the sand. I have a wonderful time. Today was beautiful because there was no wind, beautiful sun, somebody brought bubbles, somebody brought their dogs and their beautiful little children and their wonderful companions, friends and family. Uh, their birthdays to celebrate today and of course the nice weather and uh, it's always great to be out here. We're gonna have a gorgeous sunset too. How did you learn how to draw the mermaid? I simply tried it. I'm not an artist, I never was. So you can't say that anymore. I can't say that anymore. That, um, they're beautiful I, drawings. It's I simply amazing. tried it. Uh, Denny challenged me, he said, can you draw a mermaid? And I said, well, <laughs> let's see. And so I went home and practiced on paper, which is not the same as sand. And then I came back and tried it, hidden between some rocks on the Bandon Beach, so no one would see it, and it actually turned out. And over time, she got prettier and prettier, um, as women do, and so there she is, so. That's awesome, here's the bubbles you were talking about. There they are, so pretty. Well, I'll let you get back to your thing, thank All you right. very much. Thank you, Charles. And we'll see you again thank soon. Thank you, all right. The intention of Circles is to share love, show love, and be love, and that's all we can do for everybody. So this is the calendar, it's got 12 beautiful images in it, and I'm not saying that just because I took them. But it is a great way to support this team, Circles in the Sand. By the way, I'm not sponsored. Uh, I do this because, like you, as you could tell, this was the beach before Circles showed up, and this is the beach while Circles was there. I mean, you could see the difference. There's a lot of people that, that go here, and the best way to explain it is if you, if you have a pet, have you ever seen how they're just attracted to sunshine? You could have a window open and there's a spot of sunshine in, in, on the floor, on the carpet. Your pet's gonna be there. And that's what this team is. It's like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. They literally make everybody smile. It's just like, it's awesome to see how many people come to receive whatever energy they're putting out there. It is amazing to see. And the art is a, it's amazing. How they do these details in the sand is just incredible. 
So that's why I donate my pictures, why I donate my time, why I'm making this video. Keep in mind that this is a, a non-profit group. This is a group of volunteers that come out and just bring smiles to people. That to me, that's amazing. Uh, there's a lot of ways that you can support this team if you want to. I'm gonna put the descriptions right here. Uh, I'm wearing one of their shirts. They have shirts, they have jackets, they have a little bit of everything. They even got jewelry. Uh, and everything looks amazing. It, it's, it's really, really well done. Uh, and with that said, if you want to support my channel, I, I'm going to ask you to please click that subscribe button. It really does help me. Uh, click the like button if you haven't. And also, I'm going to include here a, another link for me too, the cup of coffee. That allows me to keep doing videos like this and, and just traveling and, and finding new and interesting uh, people out there. So thank you very much for watching the video and we'll see you next week. Bye.